Teaching has always been my passion, even since high school. Um, I used to help my, my friends teaching math and things like that. I'm Ravi Devanandan. I teach at Sierra Madre Middle School. I teach science and robotics. This is my 12th year teaching here. I was an engineer uh, for Teledyne Relays um, right after college. At USC when I was going uh, for school, I, I taught kids in the neighborhood. I always tutored. Uh, when I became an engineer, um, there was something that I was really missing that was just um, teaching and watching kids understand, learn, um, their eyes just, you know, sparkle. That made me um, want to switch careers. So when, when the opportunity arose, I went, went into teaching and never looked back. I really like how he interacts with the students. He's, he's a great, encouraging teacher and he's always there to help you. He's super, super funny. He always makes us laugh, and we just have a great time in his classroom. To teach kids at this age group, you have to uh, be sometimes silly and goofy with them, and that's the language that they connect with. I remember him as like a really caring person who not is not only serious but likes to joke around and makes class fun for all of us. I just take it as a privilege every single day. I love being around them, taking them on field trips. That's when I make those connections with them. He has his own kind of like slang, like he says OML, which stands for Oh My Lanta, and everybody loves it. It's so funny. Oh, Oh My Lanta, that means it's just my Lanta that you take when you have stress in your stomach. Your stomach makes noises, that's what it means. Because <laughs> they're giving me stress sometimes, so. <laughs> Mr. Dev is my favorite teacher right now, honestly. He's taught me so much and just helped me grow as a student, and I absolutely think he's an amazing teacher. Kids lack that uh, nowadays where we um, kind of get disconnected with their language, what they understand, um, and being goofy is part of being a kid, so catch them by surprise by saying something that uh, is funny and, and they think it's funny and then they, I, I get their attention. Mr. Dev is quite a character. Like sometimes at times he'll say weird words like chimichanga or oompa loompa sometimes. And he calls us chimichangas. I have no idea why. It's chimichangas. Chimichangas. He calls us chimichangas a lot. <laughs> I didn't know what chimichangas were <laughs> before, but it sounded so good. So every time they, um, you know, they are not behaving well. Um, instead of yelling at them, I just say, you know, just turn around, you chimichangas, and then they turn around, and they actually threw a chimichanga party yesterday. I didn't know it until recently that it's a fried burrito, so. <laughs> I will remember him because he really helped me with science. There was this one lesson that I didn't really quite get, and I stayed after school, and he kind of like helped me. It was an assignment about buoyancy, and I just couldn't get the formula quite right. He just taught me the formula and gave me a couple of examples and afterwards I really understood it. Well, the bridge design we did today, um, collaborative lesson on trust bridge building and from there they take it to actually building the bridge. Eventually once they start building it, um, there'll be a testing um, day where they, we actually put weights on it and it could go up to 180 pounds of uh, weight on top of each bridge and whoever wins um, gets extra points as well. And then that's where the creativity comes in, collaboration, communication, everything is right there. I'm not hoping every single one of them to become scientists, and I t tell them that because we need every single job on this planet. But I hope that they would learn how to learn and be productive citizens of this world. I still remember about 11 or 12 years ago, um, I have kids uh, um, who are coming from group homes, foster homes, and I remember getting a message saying, you know, Mr. Dev, I've, I've made it to college, and it, it really touched me, and I was very touched by it, and I um, said, I'm so proud of you, and then, you know, this individual said, I know you would, and that's why I decided to tell you that, and that, that just makes it just worth every bit of, you know, sweat we put into this job. Yeah.